Anatoly Napryanka is considered one of the worst maniacs of our time. From the late 1980s to the mid-1990s, he committed over 50 murders in Ukraine. The criminal murdered families, sparing neither children nor women. To keep citizens away from the subhuman, army units were brought in. Residents of towns and villages could not sleep peacefully until Anapriyanka ended up in prison. Anatoly Yurkovich Anapriyanka's biography began in July 1959 in Ukrainian village of Lasky. The boy was born into a family of war veteran and a collective farmer and was the youngest of two children. In the 1960s, his father, who used to beat his relatives and regularly drank alcohol, left his wife and disappeared from home. A couple of years later, his mother died of a heart condition, and a three-year-old Anatoly was left an orphan. At first, the grandparents took care of the baby, but in his early childhood, he did not behave well and disobeyed the elderly. Therefore, they decided to give him to a boarding school in the town of Malin. There, Anapriyanka faced cruelty from older kids. When Anatoly was 17, his father suddenly showed up and took a band of teenager in. But this reunion was quite a short-lived one because soon the son was suspected of a theft. As a result, Anatoly, who was left without support, received incomplete secondary education and entered a technical college. Boy had no desire to learn and his teachers did not like him. He failed his exams in the third year and that led him to the armed forces. After the mobilization, he decided to get some education and managed to graduate from Odessa Maritime School. Getting on a passenger liner that was going around the world was a gift for the young man. During the voyage, in addition to a solid salary, Anatoly received additional funds from smuggling. In 1986, Anapriyanka was found guilty of illegal trade and he had to give up his income-generating job. He then settled in Ukrainian countryside, got a job at a fire department, and became interested in hunting. He bought a shotgun and got introduced to Sergei Rogozin, a soldier internationalist, and that predetermined his future life. The first, comrades in arms traded vegetables and fruit from truck at local markets. Then theft and armed robbery became a habit. The first murder was a coincidence. The victims were a couple sleeping on the side of a road in a Zhiguli car who panicked during that talk. Rogozin condemned the brutal massacre, but was forced to remain silent out of a fear of the fate of his loved ones. Subsequently, Anatoly and his friend went separate ways and the maniac began to act alone. At the end of 1980s, travelers from Poland died at the hands of a criminal. A couple of weeks later, the list was extended to a family of five. Anapriyanka burned corpses and drove their vehicles away from the scene of massacre. The maniac, who was given the nicknames of Poleski Ghoul, Ukrainian Beast and Terminator, eventually received close attention of the authorities. Realizing the degree of danger, Anatoly went abroad. In Europe, he worked as a dishwasher and a butcher. Attempts to settle in Greece or Germany were unsuccessful. He returned back to Ukraine and continued his criminal path. Soon the hunt for town people and villagers turned into an obsession. He became a ruthless, blood-first maniac. In Malin, where he spent his youth, Anna Priyanka broke into a house of schoolmate. Under the pretext of robbery, he killed the head of family and his wife as well as their two young children. A similar scene was repeated on the outskirts of a village of Bretkovici. A man, three women, and random passers-by heard noises and came to see what happened here. They all were killed by a villager. Authorities asked for backup from the military, but even army could not keep track of murderous erratic movements. The Ukrainian beast left its mark in Zaporozhye, Vostov, Alevsk, and other locations. In the end, feeling invulnerable, killer lost his vigilance. He fell into hands of law enforcement officials thanks to a tip from an anonymous informant. The series of these horrible crimes were ended in 1996. Speaking about Anatoly's personal life, as a young man, Anapriyanka met Irina, a girl who also worked on an ocean liner. Sailor, who got rich from illegal trade, decided it was a perfect time to establish a personal life. His bride had nothing against it, so they bought a car and a house in the village of Mayaki. Sometime later, their common-law marriage resulted in the birth of his son, Dmitri. But over the time, another woman appeared on the horizon, her dresser Anna Kozak, and Anatoly fell in love with mother of two, who was experiencing financial difficulties. Once in attention center, Anatoly realized he will not be able to avoid punishment. He began to testify and confess the number of murders ordered by voices from outer space. During a search of Anapriyanka's house, officials found dozens of belongings that belonged to the dead. The cellar killer left trophies and gifted them to his women and his kids. For two years, investigators were restoring pictures of massacre of Ukrainian citizens, and the maniac was slowing down the process by pretending to be insane. 
During his first interviews recorded in prison, he said that crimes were a method of fighting the political regimes, and then he said that massacres and mass shootings were a part of ritual designed to protect society from the plague of 21st century. At the trial, which began in fall of 1998, he was sentenced to death for committing 52 proven murders. In the year of 2000, capital punishment was abolished in Ukraine. Anatoly's sentence was changed to life imprisonment in maximum security penal colony. The relatives of the victims looking for retribution appealed to Leonid Kuchma, ex-president of Ukraine, but the president did not make an exception. And Anatoly Napryenko died in August 27, 2013.